Each team will have to assemble the 13 pieces in front of you to create the perfect cube. This is a mathematics classic. Over 19,000 unique solutions, each with multiple approaches, so it's really going to test your spatial understanding and critical thinking skills. This final challenge would push your spatial reasoning to its limits. You'll need to consider all the geometric permutations of rotation and translation to optimize your solution. Let me introduce you to one of my favorite kinds of shapes, and I'd love you to draw this with me. This is a pentomino. You've heard of dominoes before, right? Dominoes, two squares joined together. A pentomino has five squares joined together. You can count them there, one, two, three, four, five, okay? Now, it doesn't take too much imagination to realize this is not the only way to combine five squares together into a single shape to make another pentomino. There are many different types, right? For example, I could just take all five of these squares and I could put them, like, what's the simplest kind of shape you could make? A cross. Just, okay, fantastic, let's do a cross together, right? So if you do one of those, bam, five squares, okay? Let me give you two minutes to see how many more you can come up with. We've got two. As a group, I'm pretty confident you can come up with the complete list. Two minutes, oh. go. Oh, God. Do we get oh. to know how many there are? Um. No, that's part, of the, that's part of the challenge. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to stop you when I think you're close enough and we can get them all together. We cannot get them all. Yeah, they, no. <laughs> Five squares. Try to be a little bit systematic, but to be honest, you can actually get them in random order. I can tell you now, as a whole group, you almost have all of them, but, but no one individually <laughs> is close. But as a group, you're doing pretty oh, well. Just lovely. <laughs> now, I will say as well, um, you can flip them over, but they'd be the same shape, right? Like if you spin one around and you're like, oh, it's just that little, uh, that little edge on this one has just gone to a different spot. It's still the same shape, yeah? So don't worry too much about reflecting and rotating because then it's still the same thing and you'll have a lot of them. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hit pause on you there. I reckon we can get these together. All right, so we've got this one and we've got this one. Someone describe to me a shape that you got. Long stick. The long stick, very technical <laughs> term. Okay, so we can just line up all five. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Okay, give me another one. A four stick with one on the end. A four stick with one on the end, so four. And then one down. And then one down, yeah, okay, L. so L. kind of an L shape. All right, good. So we've got something like that, all right. Uh, where else can we go? A T. A T, okay, so I guess if we put three there and then, how's that? Okay. T with long top. T with a long T the what? Bit like lo lowercase T. Uh, over to here, sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's so. Not a T. Yeah, that's I see where you're going. It is. Like that. Like, that's a T. Like oh. that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, let me pause sorry. there. Right now, just because of time, I'm just going to pause in terms of the drawing. Right. What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are. You'll notice there are more on your page that we have not drawn already. There are twelve in total. There are twelve pentomenas, and I already saw every single one of them on someone's piece of paper. Okay, now, not a rhetorical question. Each pentomino, five squares. 12 of them times five, how many squares in total? 60. 60. Now, 60 is a really important number in maths, right? It's important because there's lots of ways to factorize it. And that's why we base our time system on 60. 60 minutes in an hour, 60 seconds in a minute, because it's easy to divide up, right? You could do this as, let's do it on my fingers. Uh, one times 60, two times 30, help me out. Three times 20. 20, four times 15. five times 12. 12, and then lastly, six times 10, right? Now, you can see that if you took all of these squares, just jumbled them all up, you could actually make a nice, neat rectangle. This is actually not the right number, but you get the right idea, okay? That would have 60 squares in it, right? Do you think it's possible to take the 12 pentominoes that you've all drawn and arrange them nicely into a rectangle with no like holes in the middle, no bits sticking out. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's possible. In fact, it's possible in hundreds and thousands of different ways. This is in two dimensions. What you're going to be doing is in three. Of course. Ooh. Because of course, this is the <laughs> ultimate us. classroom yeah. after yeah. all, Gemma. So let me say one more time. This final challenge will push your spatial reasoning to its limits. You'll need to consider all the geometric permutations of rotation and translation to optimize your solution. 
Good luck, teams. I'm really eager to see how you go. Looks like blue team, you can see it's like, oh, there's almost a there's almost a cube there, yeah. right? We started succeeding. It looks like we're like a cube. Yeah. Gonna get a cube and then one piece just sticks out and we have to like start again. Yeah. yeah. yeah.